Hey everyone, so in this screencast I wanted to show you how you can include slides from a question bank in your player menu. So you'll see here we have a bunch of slides and then we have a draw from question bank. And then we have a question bank that has five questions in it and I've given each of them the slides um, a meaningful title, so question one through five. Now what we want to do is we want to go into our player and I only just learned about this the other day because I was watching someone um, work in the player and I saw I, I saw this as an option and I was like ooh what is that? Um, come to find out that when you include a draw from question bank you'll usually see it show up as draw from question bank and so what you might do is you might just delete that from the menu so that it doesn't show up here so you might select it and just delete it um, but there is a little gear icon and when you click on that cog you get an option to show slide draw contents now the annoying thing about this and i don't know if it's just an oversight but when you close out of this it doesn't populate in the preview and um, even if you look at the classic player it does the same thing so you don't you don't see any indication that you've made an adjustment then when you click OK and we're gonna preview let's preview this scene so as you can see uh, it, we've got all of our slide layouts and then all of our question bank is broken into the individual slides and they're listed here in the menu and you can jump around and see how I have these out of order that's probably because I, I labeled them incorrectly uh, in the draw because they're not set to randomize but you may go into your menu and bump these up or down into the proper order. And that's another thing that you can do with, um, with your menu properties.